Jeff Sloss here from 19 News Now, the 19 News Digital Desk. Uh, sorry for the confusion there. It seemed like my computer was just thinking for a little bit. Uh, this month is Motorcycle Safety Week Month, and this comes kind of at a really important time, uh, obviously, considering it is the month, but considering the fact that we are now approaching basically the deadliest time on the road uh, when it comes to Labor Day and Memorial Day. Between those two points, that is when we see a lot of crashes, and particularly for motorcycles, really, really dangerous time. We spoke with Ohio Highway uh, uh, Patrol earlier today about this problem, and particularly a couple interesting anecdotes here. A majority of the crashes are the fault of the motorcyclists. So, not just drivers being ready, being prepared, being observant, but motorcycle drivers, motorcycle riders, them, they need to be even more careful as well. Let's take a listen. To talk about uh, motorcycle safety, we are approaching summer, and well, it feels like summer at least, starting to feel like that. Uh, I'm guessing when this happens, you start to see a lot of people going out on motorcycles and typically see a lot of accidents and things like that. If you could kind of explain that increase that you do see and what you're hoping that people can do to avoid some of those accidents. Right, as you mentioned, you know, we're coming up into the summer months and the warm weather and people that have been cooped up all winter long want to get out and enjoy the roadway. And some of that involves riding motorcycles. So we really encourage all motorists as we have an uptick in those that are enjoying their motorcycles on the roadway, just be mindful and cognizant of the motorcyclists, share our roadway, be responsible drivers, make sure that you are also being a defensive driver, especially as you're approaching intersections and changing lanes. Yeah, I mean, this is also a time where we see construction starting on a lot of highways, a lot of throughways here. That is an added danger in itself, not just for the people that are riding the motorcycles, but for the people that are just trying to do their jobs too, right? Absolutely. You know, from Memorial Day to Labor Day, those days in the summer months are known as the 100 deadliest days of summer and that for good reason includes our construction workers and our maintenance crews that call the roadway their workplace and we really need to be mindful of them as they're out there doing their day-to-day -day job and making sure our roads are safe for us to travel upon that we're keeping them safe and allowing them to do their job and go home at the end of their shift. These accidents that are often caused involving motorcycles, is it normally because of the motorcycle or is it because of other drivers? Like, what is, what is typically the, the, the most common thing that you, you all see? So, uh, based on, you know, our, our data that we've collected over the past five years, there have been almost 19,000 motorcycle-related crashes in the state of Ohio. Of those, 56% are found to be the motorcyclists at fault. What does that say kind of about the training and about the importance of making sure that people are aware when they're riding these motorcycles? Right, you know, what we ask of all motorcycle operators is that you ride responsibly, that you are properly trained, and that you drive defensively. So that means driving with your motorcycle endorsement, wearing the proper safety equipment, such as your helmet, and also obeying all traffic laws when you're operating your motorcycle and never riding in pain. You mentioned that this goes uh, Memorial Day to Labor Day, right? That's that's the, the span here. I remember right. last year, I can't remember who I spoke to, but it was somebody with Highway Patrol. And they said that basically once the pandemic started to slow down, they saw a ton more people start to head onto the roads too. This is a, a summer that we're expecting more people to be going out, traveling, things like that. Does that mean that you are all even more vigilant, uh, hyper vigilant when it comes to looking at the roads, observing the roads because of that anticipated increase in people out there? Right. You know, the Highway Patrol, we take a very data-driven approach in all of our operations. So we look at, at, at statistics and take all that into consideration when we're looking where to station our troopers. And our troopers are going to be out there. They're going to be vigilant. They're going to be visible on the roadways. And you might see more than expected number of troopers out on the roadways during these summer months. We'll also uh, utilize our aviation section and our airplanes up in the air to help do some speed monitoring from the air. I want to talk about helmets real quick. The requirements for the state of Ohio, uh, who needs to be wearing a helmet, who should be wearing a helmet when you're on a motorcycle? Right, so anyone under the age of 18 is required to wear a helmet when they're operating a motorcycle. Also, if you have a temporary permit or a learner's uh, permit mm -hmm. for motorcycle endorsement, you need to wear a helmet. And then any uh, uh, passenger of a motorcycle, if the operator or driver is required to wear a helmet, then your passenger is also required to wear a helmet as well. Cuyahoga County, one of the larger counties for these accidents. We're hoping that people do avoid this. Before we let you go here, just anything else that you feel like people need to know, be aware of, riders need to know or be aware of if they're getting ready to hit the roads this summer, knowing the dangers that can take place. 
you know, we just urge and encourage all motorists to, to be aware when you're driving, put the distractions down. You know, the cell phones are a huge issue. We need everyone to pay attention when you're behind the wheel. Your hands should be on, on, the, on the wheel and your eyes should be on the roadway so that you can pay attention and watch out for these motorcyclists. Sergeant, you answered all my questions here. Is there anything else that we didn't touch on that we should have? No, I think you got it all. You had to stay say. an extra five, but oh, sorry, go ahead. Oh, no, you're good. Um, so of um, so those statistics from the past five years, so from 2018 to 2022, when we saw, you know, nearly 19,000 crashes involving motorcycle operators of the fatalities of those motorcycle crashes, which there was 953 fatalities, 72% of those was a result because the driver was not wearing a helmet. Oh, wow. So we really encourage, you know, anyone, even if you're not required to, it's just take that extra five seconds, put the helmet on before you hop on your bike and enjoy enjoy the warm weather and the roadway um, because it might may just save your life. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to break down all of this information on 19 years at 10 and 11. I'll be at the big board with some graphs, some charts, you name it, we'll have it. Uh, that coming up, 19 News 10 and 11. For now, I'm Jeff Slauson with 19 News in five minutes or so. We'll have our latest weather stream. So we'll see you there. Of course, we'll see you tonight on 19 News. 19 News, now streaming on Samsung.